still happening, folks. God's specialty, I close, turning bad things into good things. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand God. He's not a status. He's not a pay longer. But he specializes in causing things that are evil. What the enemy means for harm, he can turn it around for good. That's his specialty. That's what he does best. I believe that will happen in this situation as well. We just have to trust him. It was God who gave his only begotten son. And that was a tough that was a tough thing to do. The son wanted to know why he was forsaken. His father forsook him because of the love that he had for you and me. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let's think about the pain that we experience and ask the Lord, how could we be compassionate to others with that pain? Because that was one of the legacies of K. Lion. He loved peace. He wanted to possess in peace. See, these are the things that make you what you stand for. He was in peace. So that, that in itself is a blessing to mankind. Jesus was about peace. He was called the Prince of Peace. That in his kingdom there shall be no end, and there will be peace once you're in his kingdom. So I'm just trying to be that voice, bring hope to a sad situation. Because we know we've already heard. His father declared that the legacy will live on. And, and that means that when Jesus said that he was the resurrection and the life, and if you believe in him, you will never die, it means that sometimes when we're dead, we're still alive. We're alive in the hearts of the people who love us. Sometimes we are more alive than when we were alive. And in my book, that life is a success. Because the ripple effect of your life has gone past to the other generation. And I believe Caelan got that from his father. Not taking anything away from his mother. It takes two. But we have to understand what God is doing here. This is not about us. This is about what God started. And he has given us all life. And we have to live for you. Live with wisdom and knowledge and understanding and above all, peace. Peace. And that's what I declare for all of us today. The peace of God that passes our understanding. I declare that it will guard our hearts. God will embrace us the spirit of comfort would come and bring peace. Peace even to how is the body going to go to Trinidad. The faith and the understanding that God will provide. 
will bring peace. And that declaration of Trinidad opening its borders, it is done. Because we will have what we say. Because God isn't always interested in our need, but in our faith. And life and death is in the power of the tongue. So, Father, we thank you that this circumstance here that you have already thought about, you have already given us a solution. The solution is eternal life. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. He said he was the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. And so, Lord, we don't always understand what you say, but we trust you. We believe you. We lean not to our own understanding today. And in all ways, we acknowledge you so that you can continue to guide us even through the valley of the shadow of death where we will fear no evil because your rod and your staff are with us. Thank you for being with this family in this time of grief, in this season of pain. And I ask God that you do only what you can do. Is be that tower of refuge and strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. At this time we're going to have some tributes from family and friends. I'm Toko, Sarah, Sheldon, sister. Um, so a couple of things that sticks with me with, with Quinton is his ability to know who he is and to know his purpose and to know what he wanted at such a young age. Quinton died of natural causes at an unnatural age. But to see what he did in 23 years what most of us still trying to figure out at 14, 15, and 60 is amazing to me. To see what such, what such courage this young man had to sing this music, like it if you don't like it, as your business. What I used to say, Tasha, you studying that? That stuck with me because it's like so many times we look at what this one's saying, what that one's saying. It doesn't matter what God's saying. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Quentin didn't have that. Quentin simply said, cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do me. And I love the fact that he was a loan officer by day and a Zessa by night. <laughs> Isn't that what we all want? <laughs> that beautiful balance between two, you understand? He wasn't faking or nothing. He was who he was. 